So various British civil servants are reporting that they can't have Christmas holidays anymore, and that moreover, no alcohol is, a is allowed at any festive events that they might have. Yes, festive events. So I wonder, maybe you can help me figure this out, what religion would it be that that satiates? You know, no mention of Christmas, no alcohol. This is a really tough one, I know. Maybe it's that religion that likes to drive trucks into Christmas parades, just going out on a limb here. Or those who like to attack Christmas events while screaming Allahu Akbar. Um, I know, I know, it's it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Um, we, we can't say that because if we can't say Christmas, we certainly can't say anything about the trucks of peace. All right, but over in England, you of course have the increase of Islam replacing both Christian and secular groups, all right? And I saw the recent report that Christians in England have fallen below the 50% of the population. I didn't even report on it because I don't think that's news. That's been the case for decades, as anybody who lives over there can attest. You don't have a majority Christian population there, and you haven't for a really long time. Yes, you have people who report that when you ask them, what religion are you, they'll say Church of England with a shrug, uh, but they don't actually believe or go to church, believe in Christ as the Son of God. However you define Christian, they're not it. In fact, it's socially unacceptable to be Christian and to practice the faith in any way over in England, and again, has been for decades. But what we're looking at now with the replacement of, you know, Christmas festivities uh, with wintry events is a need to appease the Muslim, the Muslim class, which is becoming sort of a, a more dominant class out of fear, fear of various different types of attack, as those people, when they engage in different terroristic actions, scream the same things that the Muslim marauders did throughout history when they attacked different Christian civilizations. I don't know if everybody realizes that, but you know, prior to the Crusades, when the Muslims would attack various different Christian um, <clears throat> civilizations, they do so while screaming that. So, yeah, it, that's what they're kind of referencing in a sense, is they're referencing that they're still like, sort of engaging in what they consider um, a holy war. But, you know, this is the time of year where the, the trucks of peace pick up. And again, we're not supposed to mention any of this. And not only we're not supposed to mention it, but then you also can't mention anything that might sound even slightly Christian even in this nation that is that is secular, and we're supposed to be really glad that it's, it's secular, because it's secular, which means that it's it's founded on reason, as anybody who is atheist will tell you. They all just care about the reason, but there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of bravery in that reason. They seem to instead be surrendering to cowardice of a different religion, the religion of those that tend to kill people. Instead, there's no there's no attempt to you know, breed tolerance. I thought this was a tolerant nation now. I thought that's what happened when you got rid of all the Christians, was you got a tolerant society. But yet you get one that now, even in England, which is, well, you know, you have some degree of alcohol as part of the culture. Not anymore. Not anymore, because somebody might get offended, and we're tolerant except for of that, it's really confusing, it makes your head spin after a while. This is the tolerant society of the future if people don't stand up and speak. And don't speak against it if you're in England because then you might be arrested because that's how tolerant that society is. Alright, I'll go ahead and say what you guys can't, so Merry Christmas.